made a song, you know. You want to hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Mila, sing? Mila, <laughs> let's play tag instead. <laughs> Tig is it. No, I'm not. Not anymore. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Winter tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... <sighs> Papa Pandiga, is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Oh, uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's home. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzy and see everything. Theo! Are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. Ah! Leo! Leo! <laughs> again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> He's coming. 
moving. In position, everyone. Dig. Do it. Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Boy, heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. Yup! With his front paw in his mouth! Mila, why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn! Oh, sleep tight, baby! Bear, rest your head, have no fear! Oh, come on! What's so funny? I'm not that bad! <laughs> like, like mole in his burrow, like, like fox in, in his hole, and, and afterwards winter will bid you goodbye, and spring will arrive in the blink of an eye! The air so warm, but for now you should sleep. 
<clears throat> and that's how a good song can make uh, <clears throat> can make a miracle. The Silver River. Are you sick? Oh, no. I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river. And it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the Silver River! Just like in my dream! <gasps> Leo, Leo, no, Leo! This is just a bunch of moths. Come on, Leo, there's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh, dear. We've upset our friend. And on his birthday, too. Um. Mapa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Um. And he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mapa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver but only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save yeah. him. And then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock! What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially cool. The Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! <laughs> ah, hey, watch it, okay? Oh, I can see Leo! And the Martins. Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock. What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm, something's not right. Come on, we have to follow them. <laughs> So, uh, where's the Silver River? Go! Go over there, to the very edge! I can't see anything. Hey, 
The Rise of the Dragon. Tig, don't be such a bore. Join our race. Yeah, Tig. Up to the cedar on the top and back. I have more important things to do. I'm gonna wait for you down here. So, the stripey <laughs> scared. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Whatever. Go on, Mila, give us a command. On your mark, get set, go! Paws against wings. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Leo! Leo! You've got really fast wings. <laughs> okay, let's see who's the first to get down. So, Tig, looks like the Spotty got himself a new friend who is not a coward, unlike you. A coward? <laughs> Me? Look, look over there. They're coming. Oh, isn't Kino a Kino's great. Kino's awesome. That's all I hear these days. Kino this, Kino that. No, you too, Mila. <laughs> Leo traded Tig for the winged one. <laughs> Did you hear that? Cuba, let's get out of here. Sure, go. The spotty doesn't need you anymore. You're no match for that feathery guy. <laughs> Cuba and I have more important things to do. We could come up with something more interesting than stupid racing. What's up with that? Something bugging him? It's not exactly bugging, so much as pecking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, I don't know. The earth is kind of trembling. Oh. Let's go to Mama Pandiga. I bet he might know what's going on. Oh, they say that once before, a long time ago, the Earth would shake the same way. And here's what happened. The Great Mount, the one on the east, was friends with the wind. The Mount really liked it when the wind would shake the tops of its pines. But one day, the wind flew up higher and started to play with the clouds. That made the mount angry. Suddenly, the sky turned dark. And then he, he appeared. Who? The dragon. The dragon? Yes, giant like a mountain and ruthless like fire. No animal could get the best of it. But how? How was he stopped then? The wind. It flew close to the dragon, and not alone. He brought along some clouds. They started whirling and dancing around. The dragon then calmed down and turned back into the Great Mount. The clouds wrapped it in a white blanket, and the dragon fell asleep. No! Tig, let's go. I'll fly ahead. Guys, where are you going? Dragon woke up. <laughs> <laughs> we need to run. The, 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 the dragon woke up. Oh, and here I thought Leo was my best friend. He's all, Kino, let's have a race. Kino, you're such a great flyer. <clears throat> Oh, Leo, Leo. Hey, you! What dragon? On the mountain! He woke up! Everyone's afraid of him! Everyone except me! I'm gonna go there and have a look. Check out this dragon. You coming with me? Fine, whatever. I'm gonna go there alone. Then everyone will see 
that I am brave. The stripey lost his mind. Going right into the dragon's mouth. Martins, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Where is Tig? Where could he go? Cuba! Where's Tig? Mountain? Tig went up the mountain? But why? Well, where is this dragon? I'm gonna show him what's what. And after I'm done with this dragon, we'll see what Leo has to say. He'll probably be like, Tig, pretty please, let's play together. And I'll be like, no, Leo, go play with your Kino. Leo, it's all quiet now. Do you think that means the dragon fell asleep? Yeah. Now we need to figure out how to get out of here. Oh. Hang on there, guys! I brought help! Grab the line, children. Climb up. And then Leo jumped to me and said, wherever you go, I go too. And then I realized that I was wrong. And then the wind and the clouds and the dragon fell asleep again. Mappa Pandiga, why did the dragon fall asleep again? <laughs> I think, kids, it's because Tig got the best of the dragon. What? The dragon? But I haven't even seen him. <laughs> Yay! Tig is the dragon slayer! Who? Me? Really? Well, yes, actually. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Dragon Slayer, time to go home. Kino, come by tomorrow. I know a really fun game. We can play it together. Right. Play Dragon. <laughs> no! Any 
anything but dragon. <laughs> Come on, Leo. <laughs> I swear I didn't get scared one bit. If this dragon ever comes my way. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of us has a dragon sleeping inside, and only you, yourself, can get the best of him.